our team and our some people and uh, you know it's it's tough to evaluate your players unless they're going against the best and we saw the best in the last two weekends we've had nine scrimmages we we, we did grind them down pretty good and kind of see what kind of how, what kind of mental toughness they have from the neck up and we have some work to do in that area as long as well as a lot of areas but that's what good teams do they expose you on your weaknesses and what you need to go to work on and it was as I just told you off tape here Pete it was as good a, a stretch of scrimmages as we've ever had here in my 25 years here so uh, I'm really proud of the guys fighting through it and uh, we had a great preseason and we're anxious to get our season going. So after the past couple of days it was Benilde, Minnetonka, Eden Prairie, for the uh, Lakeville time. South for the second time, Eden Prairie, and then uh, quite a few more. That's just in a two-day period uh, with that. When you said the mental toughness as far as up top, you returned a ton of guys that were mentally tough last year. Is this something that went away over the summer or you want to see improved from last year? I want to see them improve and it, both. It went away last year and uh, obviously we're not going to be to the point we were at the end of last year yet because we're a different team different makeup we're still trying to find replacements for the people that we lost character guys and uh, uh, you know we, we again we, we've been working extremely hard the last couple of weeks and you know they've been told how good they are and I've been told from certain people, not many, how good a coach I am. And we've got to get back to reality and get back to work and realize that there's a lot of really good teams around the state of Minnesota. And we just had a little discussion about that in the locker room. And the real season starts Thursday, and uh, we'll go from there game to game. And it comes down to Pete, is you, it's a one-game deal. I mm -hmm. mean, when you talk about it, it's a one-game deal. And we played some mediocre scrimmages with not a lot of jump. And we reminded them, if you play that way, at the wrong time, your season is going to be over. And I think they can reflect back to last year to the number of teams that weren't there that they felt should have been there. And they got to realize that all it comes down to is all you're playing in February and all it is is a building block from this point on and that we get better and come together as a team. How do you personally manage that? You no, know, it's a marathon. And uh, hopefully at the end we'll win the marathon and get to the sprint. Uh, power play look good and goaltending. Do you feel like you've got that short up? Yeah, I think our power play, we're going to have two good power play units. We liked our goaltending this weekend. We thought both of them had very good outings, and I think it's going to be quite a battle between the two of them. And it's a matter of finding, again, replacing the Shindells, the Phil Johnsons, the Hunter Bergesons, who understand their role and what they need to bring. And we're still trying to put that piece of the team together. We'll be watching it closely. Plenty of games that we'll be streaming, so get ready. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. We're excited to get going. It's been a great stretch and, uh, like I said, a great preseason. And Obviously, the kids are really anxious to get to the regular season, as we are. So it goes so fast, as you know, Pete. And uh, we do them enjoy every day and every opportunity you have to prove that you, you should be on this team. Take advantage of it. So we'll go from starting tomorrow or Monday. Blake, and it's over. Thanks a lot, Mike. That's Good luck right. to you. Thank you very much. Pete. You bet.